Hi guys, so welcome to our session for uh, AWS store algorithms in artificial intelligence and what is this algorithms and uh, how we can implement this algorithms in the artificial intelligence. Okay, let's start now. So agenda for today's discussion is uh, we'll start about uh, introduction to AWS store algorithms and uh, how the AWS store algorithm is working and how this AWS store algorithm is different from the A star algorithms. How we can simulating the working copy of this AWS store algorithms. And then we'll talk about what is the difference between a star and the AO star algorithms. Okay, this is the agenda for the today discussions. Okay, next we'll talk about a roadmap about this uh, deep learning programs. So, what is the roadmap and what are the different modules are available? Let's talk about in detail. So, module one, we're going to talk about introduction deep learnings. What is deep learnings and uh, where the deep learning will fit into this uh, AI world? And what is neural networks? What are the different concepts about neural networks? Everything we are covering in the module one. Okay, followed by Anson's. In module two, we are starting with the TensorFlow package. So TensorFlow 2.0. TensorFlow is a Google developer product. So we are talking about how we can incorporate the deep learning concepts by using TensorFlows. And then we are moving towards this algorithms that is called uh, convolutional neural networks algorithm algorithms. Okay, how we can use this uh, image processing and uh, how we can perform some of the different uh, layers about CNN architectures. We are moving towards this uh, regional CNNs, different types of CNNs, mobile net, regionals, and uh, wipe net, all the different types of uh, CNN algorithms, and uh, Boltzmann and auto encoded techniques. So, how we can encode the data by using this uh, Boltzmann concepts. Followed by we're moving towards the generate adventional networks GAN, different types of algorithm just want to cover it In module sevens, we are talking about uh, how we can incorporate the emotional and gender deductions Sentiment analysis by using deep learning concepts In module 8 we're talking about uh, RNN that uh, we can incorporate the re recurrent neural networks and uh, graphical performance by using this uh, deep learning concepts and module 9 and 10 is for LSTM long short term memories and now we can play LSTM algorithms auto image capturing using LSTM algorithms. So this is a complete roadmap about this deep learning courses like this will be for 30 hours course. So each and every modules we have this case studies and corresponding users and all those information available in each and every modules. Okay, fine. Let's move on to the actual things introduction to AO algorithms. So first of all, we'll talk about what is AO algorithms and how this is a algorithm we're going to implement. Okay, so what is AO algorithms? Let's talk about the introductions. So AO algorithm is an best first search algorithm. Okay, so basically this is going to work same as and or graph algorithms. Okay, we have this or algorithms that is called a star algorithms. Only for our condition, right? Any one of our conditions, any one or condition, right? So the AO algorithm will work for both and or algorithm graph. Basically, what it will do is it will divide our complex problem. If you have any complex problem, right, into smaller problems, the smaller set for the further result. So basically, if you have any bigger complex problem, that will get divided into small small pieces. Okay, and then we'll resolve this algorithm. So basically this will work same as like how we can broken down our big piece of code into small piece of code, right? It will work same as like that. There's any complex problem that will get divided into small small pieces and we'll get resolve it and we'll get, we'll get merged with the and operations. So that is the main and also right by using this AO algorithm. We are finding shortest path. Okay, so that is the introduction about AO algorithms. So let's see you are going to acquire a mobile, right? So this is my graph. Let's see So that could be you can steal the mobiles or you can buy a mobile So to buy a mobile definitely we need to earn a money, right? So basically to acquire a mobile we need to satisfy these two conditions, right? Buy a mobile and as well as to get the mobile definitely we need a money So if both the conditions are satisfied then only we can go and acquire the mobiles, right? So that is the and or algorithms and all graphical problems. So let's see how this uh, AO algorithm is going to work in detail. So AO algorithm is going to work for this formula function of how we can initiate the cost travels. Okay, because actual cost that is called the GFN 
how we can traverse from the initial state that is called the from starting place until the to the current state so basically in this graph right this is the current state right this is the which state you are going to reach it so what is the cost how much what is the travel distance going to occur right that is the uh, distance between one node and the another node so like like this a algorithm going to work so that is for g of n so h of n is the estimated cost of travel this is the actual cost that is called g of n h of n is the estimated how much estimate maybe in machine learning terminology we have this actual value and the predicted value simple examples so g of n is nothing but actual and h of n is an estimated cost of travels for estimated cost of travel so we used a function called heuristic functions okay and if you want to sum it up these two things we'll get the actual cost of travels from the one place that is called one node into the another nodes okay this is the formula to calculate the save algorithms next is how we can simulate the uh, working copy of evo star algorithms so let's take an example this is my root nodes so we are in this starting place that is called a place right okay from there i have to traverse through all the nodes right suppose if you want to traverse from a to b what is the cost what is the, maybe it is a 4 right 4 plus 6 10 right so if you want to reach from top to bottoms it is going to occupy almost 10 costs right 6 plus 4 10 right again this is the longest value but this is only one condition right suppose again c and d right so if c and d both are satisfied then i i want to move it so basically it is going to satisfy for both the conditions why because these two are very less values so instead of taking 4 plus 2 6 4 plus 3 7 more value right instead of that i'm going to take only 2 plus 3 the shortest value for it okay that is what this algorithm going to work basically it is going to find the from one node into another nodes it is going to find the shortest shortest value again right so from once we reach here like values a to c again there are three different nodes are there g h and i right so again for c to g is having for value 2 and h and i j is running for value 0 right there is no value for it it means we will consider h and j the shortest path could be a c h or a c i so if you want to traverse from one place to another place we can traverse this through this path a c h algorithms a c h is the my decide path, the estimated paths okay so like this this a algorithm going to work again right so initially is going to assign the weights right 1 1 1 equally and once these two are satisfied so then it is going to assign this uh, these two values okay this is the formula okay let's ignore it so that's what i as i told you right so which is which value is going to take it so which value is going to take it right so that's what uh, the 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 a algorithm going to work but a star algorithms it will work only for or conditions a star algorithms a o star algorithm will look for and or logics okay fine so next we'll, we'll talk about what is the difference between a star and the a o star algorithms so a star algorithm will provide the optimal solutions maybe and a star algorithm will stop when if you find any solutions right because this is going to so a star algorithm when never get a possible solutions the logic will get stopped because it's not going to traverse through the below part but a, that's why the advantage in the a star right so once we computation got stopped definitely it is going to occupy less memory why because not going to perform some other computations and a star algorithm it won't go to infinite loops why because once we find the solutions it won't go and search in next path right next available paths so that's why it, it will get stopped okay so that's only different between a star and the a o star algorithms okay let's quickly see this uh, demo part or uh, let's quickly see the data map so this is my input graph right suppose i have this uh, traverse from a to g so first of all i want to find the shortest path right so a b i can go with either a b c a b g or a e d g right so we can go with any of the path right so first of all we need to get the shortest path for it suppose if we go from a to b there is 2 2 plus 9 2 plus 9 11 right there are total 11 11 thing on it right so this number should be 11 right so if you were to go with a e d g right 3 plus 6 9 
sorry 99 plus 1 10 right so instead of this will this will take only for 10th distance this will take for 11 distance so we need to find the optimal path between one node and another nodes let's see the coding part suppose same thing right so what i did was i just prepared the code for it i want to go with a to g i just prepared the graph nodes whatever the image we saw right okay i just create the graph node for all the nodes right from a will go to either b and e d will go to c and g c is a none right it means this is the n node and then d will go to g d will go to g. e will go to d d will go to g this is the one right so whatever image we saw it here right same here i just prepare the data here so if i want to go to a to g we have to go with this is a path found control enter suppose i am putting c path here right c is my starting locations c path does not exist so because c is the my end state same thing right suppose if you want to go with a to d a to d so we have a path right so a to d will go with a e and d suppose if we want to go to a t d right how to traverse to this path a e and d path so this is very simple algorithms so i just implemented the python so the creating dictionary is heuristic distance right and then the path and just creating a small functions okay, i am done for the demo part thank you all thanks for joining this webinar thank you all